Where would we be without glass? A material that's been refined across centuries of invention and reinvention. In the laboratory, glass is everywhere. Beakers, flasks, bottles and jars, tubing, stirrers, pipettes and funnels. All made of glass and as a result, all very fragile. If glass is bumped or dropped, or if too much pressure is applied to it, it can crack or even shatter, and then we have an accident on our hands. Some glassware-related accidents may not require much more than a Band-Aid, but others can mean a lot of blood and a doctor's needlework. There's also the damaged equipment to consider. It can often be expensive and hard to replace. And in many cases, the potential of contamination from the materials in the container is something we have to worry about as well. So how do we protect ourselves from glassware accidents? Well, we learn about our equipment, inspect it before we use it, and follow proper procedures when we work with it. Each piece of laboratory glassware is made for a specific purpose, and it's important that we use it only for that purpose. Makeshift apparatus is almost always unstable, and it is often an accident waiting to happen. When you have work that involves using glassware, the first thing you need to do is determine whether the pieces you've selected are compatible with the chemicals you're using. This is particularly important for work involving acids and alkalis. Many of these react with glass and can crack or even eat through it. In many procedures, glassware is heated to extreme temperatures. Inferior or flawed pieces can fracture or crack, showering the area with broken glass and hot chemicals. 